Hiya then folks. Today I'm going to turn this rusty cast iron pan into something that we can use to cook our breakfast in. Using just the power from the sun via this solar panel, a bucket of water and a couple of scraps of metal. It's called electrolysis. There's several ways you can do it and most people use a standard battery charger but we've had an idea we can do it for free using the sun. As many of you probably know we're currently rebuilding a 1977 narrowboat that's going to be our full-time liveaboard home and on that we use a log burner for a lot of the cooking. Cast iron pans are brilliant for use on a log burner. They're also vastly expensive so I'll pick this one up for next to nothing and I'm confident I can get it looking perfect. Good enough to eat your dinner out of you could say. So before we actually rig it all up the basic science behind it is in effect we're putting this in a bucket of water and we're putting a sacrificial piece of metal at the opposite side of the water and we're running a current between the two of them. So yeah, we're, we're putting electric through water. You won't think that's a very good idea, but, but trust me, it's all right. He says he's got the fire extinguisher on standby just in case then. Basically the current going between the two through the water pulls the rust away from this onto the other piece of metal and therefore making this nice and clean. That's the theory, let's crack on. So the first step then is just to check there's power coming from this solar panel. Dead easy, got the multimeter. These are the clips that are wired up to the solar panel. And at the minute we're pulling about 17 and a half volts from the solar panel. So we know we've got power coming from that. Now we need some water in the bucket. There we go, we've got a decent amount of water in there. Next we're going to add then is the sodium carbonate, which for that I'm going to put my gloves on. There probably is a scientific amount of how much of this I should add, but I don't really know what that is. So I'm going to start with about a third of the bag and we'll give it a mix round. This is basically just because water in itself isn't actually a very good conductor of electric but adding something like this or you can use salts and some washing powders just allows the electric to flow nicely which is what we're needing. We're needing that electric to flow from this to this or vice versa really from that through to that. So let's give that a stir. That's gone nice and cloudy. So this old bar we're using as what's called the anode. That's what the negative clamp from the battery charger will go on. That's obviously the sacrificial piece of metal. That's not what we're wanting to clean. This however is what we call the cathode. That's what we are wanting to clean. And the idea is the rust pulls following the current from this onto that other piece so we drop that in there what I need to make sure is those two don't touch each other at any point just to be sure I've got a little bit of rock that I can just drop in the bottom there and that would mean if they were to move obviously that's going to keep them apart and then before we get going I'll also pop that in which would obviously mean they can't fall together either all that's left to do then is to connect these up so we want the positive onto the side that we're not bothered about, that's the sacrificial piece, and the negative onto the piece that we're cleaning. Last step then, let's turn the solar panel around. Okay. 
initial reaction is then the solar panel is pulling in some power which is passing through the cathode and the anode and there is actually a reaction happening in there because you can see there are just a few bubbles coming up at the minute there's not much because obviously this solar panel is not in direct sunlight at the moment so the the voltage and the ampage coming through there will not be great but as the sun moves round within the next couple of hours this panel is going to be in the direct sun and that should increase the activity in there so over time as more of the reaction happens I would expect to see more and more bits of flaky rust coming out and coming across the water along with the bubbles that we're getting the key to it now is patience patience is not really one of my virtues either so for the next few hours I'm going to be pacing up and down here staring at this bucket with eager anticipation Now I'm happy the process is working, I'm going to top that bucket up so it covers as much of that pan as possible. And I think as we've added some more water, I'll add a bit more sodium carbonate. Put my gloves on for that though. a good few hours then and it is bubbling away nicely so there's clearly something happening so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect it for a minute we've got a little scourer we can just uh, have a little run around with that and see if it's starting to make any progress yet so we'll just unclip that that can just go onto there for the minute I'll do the same with that one so we'll have a look at this as well just see what's uh, see what's happening with it all so I'll lift that out we can definitely see there's a load of slime starting to build up and the rust is flaking off there that's telling me it's doing its job as you can see there's lots and lots of loose rust all this on the side here look that's, uh, that's all coming off that's now going back to the original black colour on the side there and remember this is all just with the power of that little solar panel there I must say I am well impressed with that have a look at the back the main parts there that's all coming off nicely as well it is definitely doing the job then so we'll just get the thick of it out and then I'll put it back on. So, positive back onto that one. negative onto that one and I'll just get the trusty multimeter just to make sure we have got power going through again but I can already see there's plenty of bubbles coming up so I'm pretty sure that's working a treat yeah and I've got voltage there so we'll leave that to cook for a little bit longer so I've left this all day and as you can clearly see it's definitely been working there's all the rust bubbles and the scum on the top of the water there so if we now disconnect it we can have a look and see just how well this has come out and I think we're probably gonna find it's basically ready to cook in if we just lift it out you can see there's hardly any residue on there at all of any rust I'm just wiping it with that is bringing it up absolutely brilliant that's not leaving any rust behind 
So all I'll need to do now is give that a good clean. Just with that, give it a wipe over, give it a rinse with the tap, and then we can season that and we can cook our breakfast in it. And the best of it is, I've had to do absolutely nothing. It's just been sat there. I've actually been painting me about for the last couple of days. And this has been working its magic, cleaning that up to as new condition with no work or cost really either. Impressed to say the least. One clean, tidy, shiny pan. I'm going to go and pop that on the log burner just to dry it out before we get any flash rust appearing back on it. And then tomorrow morning we'll put some oil in it and we'll have some bacon. We've now got the pan ready to cook in. Yeah, that rusty pan that we started with I'm now going to cook in. Normally with cast iron you would normally properly season it before you use it which seasoning it basically means putting oils and things into it using an oven to create the heat and things. We'll perhaps cover that on another video at a later date but for now all I've done is I brought it up to temperature, wiped a bit of oil into it, let it cool, done that two or three times so at least it's got a bit of a glazing on there so nothing's going to stick. Well, let's just give it a try then. Here we go. Straight away, we've got that sizzle. We'll not be too greedy. We'll only have three rashers just while we get it cooking. And do excuse my fingers, it is only me eating this. And I did wash them last month anyway. Better get some bread ready. you've all enjoyed watching me transform this piece of junk into a worthwhile useful piece of equipment if you have give the video a like and if you're not already subscribed to the channel press the subscribe button and ding the little bell it's all free and it gives you notifications each time we put a video on obviously some of the videos are covering the actual renovation of this boat that's a fair old challenge in itself and some videos things like this renovating cast iron building log stores fitting log burners so give us a like a subscribe ding the bell and we'll see you all in future because i think the only thing left to do now is for me to serve up my sandwich thanks for watching see you later folks bye bye